What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles if I got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the BF Doom Buggy. So this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one and can be purchased from the Summer San Andreas website for $20,000 or of course you can get it off the street for free. Now I do want to mention right out of the gate here guys that this vehicle basically has no visual customization. However, there are two different variants of the Doom Buggy. One comes with the giant body panel on the front and then the other one comes with no body panel. Now to acquire either one of these variants, at least this is the way it was for me, I bought the Doom Buggy seven times, now, this was for testing purposes, <laughs> so it kept spawning with the body panel on it, and I was trying to get it to spawn without the body panel, but it just kept spawning with that, so I assume, based on the fact that I bought it seven times, again for testing purposes, that that's the only way it spawns if you buy it. It could be wrong, I don't know, maybe I have to buy it 20 times, but I'm not going to do that, so I think 7 was enough for testing purposes. Now there is a trick to get whichever one of the two variants you want to spawn. If you go to the top of the map in Polito Bay, go ahead and buy the Doom Buggy, and then call it in, drive it up this road here, and it will spawn in this location, um, the, one of the two different variants. So you just drive back and forth this location, and eventually the one that you want will spawn um, so that's how it was able to get the one without the body panel or of course you know you can just find one driving on the street and the exact spec that you want that also works but anyways in terms of track performance this vehicle is in the off-roads class and actually is still in top 10 for that class which honestly is really impressive considering it's essentially a free OG car from 2013 that's not too bad but anyways, in terms of what the Doom Buggy is based on, it's primarily based on a custom sand rail. So for those of you who don't know what they are, they're basically kits that companies offer, a tubular chassis with suspension components. It pretty much includes most of the stuff that you need. The only thing that you have to really put in it yourself for the most part is going to be the VW Beetle engine. So those engines are super cheap lightweight and super reliable so that's why everybody throws that engine in there for the most part and it results in just a fun budget off-roader but anyways let's go ahead and check out the customization of the doom buggy all right doom buggy okay we got armor brakes engine uh, lights, we can throw xenons on it. I think we'll leave the regular like white lights. I guess we'll leave that um, Respray so on this one it only changes the body panel now if you have the other variant I showed without the body panel obviously Actually nothing would change which is kind of funny. So you'd, you'd be changing absolutely nothing just <laughs> the Visible body panel basically, but but in this case we can change it um Maybe something chameleon? I want to throw something wild on here. I'd be like a gold or something. I don't know, something different. Um, I, think, I think a chameleon is definitely a fun a fun color for this. Ooh, the anodized red pearl looks really cool. I guess we'll do that. Um, suspension, why would you lower this? <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't understand why you would lower this. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it stock right height. Transmission, turbo, uh, wheels. Now, just like the, um, BF Injection, right? That one had the kind of mismatched wheels. So, a similar case with this. Unfortunately, you can't change the wheels on it. Um, all you can do is put bulletproof tires and tire smoke, and that's, that's it. You can't do anything else. So, keep that in mind, and that's all the options there. So, like I said earlier, you know, no visual customization, unfortunately. Um, but you can change the color if you have the body panel upgrade. If you don't have the body panel upgrade, you literally can't do anything to it except internal performance mods, but um, yeah. All right, exit to ground, let's take it for a drive. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a really fun, cool vehicle, I think. Outside here. And the texture on the body panel is kind of like worn too. And of course you have the little canvas top thing 
which kind of flaps around in the wind when you start driving, which is kind of cool. First person here from inside. <laughs> it's kind of funny looking. <laughs> I mean, this thing's cool. I mean, it's like this is before the Bifta, obviously. So the Bifta was like the better variant of this, um, but this is the you know the OG. So, I mean, it, it's cool. It's a cool vehicle. The texture qualities are a bit, uh, yeah, extremely yikes to say the least. But you know, 2013, you kind of expect this. But all right, floored here. And this thing, I mean, this is cheap fun. You know, it, it's it's pretty quick for what it is. And believe it or not, it still sits in top 10 for the off-roads class for track performance, which is kind of mind-boggling, considering this is an OG 2013 vehicle you can get off the street for free. It's faster to run a track than a brawler, for example, even a car, car 4x4, uh, but obviously it loses to other ones like the Bifta and Trophy Truck and all that and Camacho. But, um, still a cool vehicle. I want to drive over here just so we can do a little bit of off-roading, because, I mean, that's... That's the main strength of this thing. I don't know how, I don't know what I was doing. How <laughs> I hit that. <laughs> oh, that guy cut me off too. GTA traffic is not liking me today. <laughs> but it feels really smooth in terms of the handling. Um, very, very easy to drive. Let me, let, me take, let me take a few corners here and then we'll go up the mountain there. Ooh, the brakes leave a little bit to be desired. And that's even with them maxed out too. Alright, let's turn around here. Feels smooth. Can it, can it mid drive? Probably. Do a handbrake launch. Sounds kind of cool. Yeah, who does it? Look at that. A little champ. See how it pulls up? Nice. Very nice. Very, very easy to drive. How does it land? Hmm, pretty smooth, not too bad. I want to purposely go on the steep part here. And then I want to slow down a lot. And let's see how it... Oh, look at that grip. Look at that. No problem at all. Wow. Very impressive. And that's pretty steep, all things considering. From a complete stop, it still holds its own pretty well there. Let's, um... Go down here at a higher speed. Use our brakes. Not bad, actually. It does spin out sometimes, though. Wow, that's that's pretty impressive. <laughs> this is a, this is a fun little thing to mess around with. I mean, like the free off rotor, or I mean, unless you buy it from the website for twenty k, but. Yeah, that's really steep. This thing does lack ground clearance for sure. Okay, it's struggling a bit here. <laughs> it's struggling. Let's do a little more speed. Come on. Ah, it doesn't want to do it. It doesn't want to do it. Kind of dies a bit depending on the incline. That's interesting. Hmm. I guess I would say that the BF injection feels a little better, I think, in terms of the grip and stuff. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, this was the OG, you know, back in 2013. This was actually pretty unique and cool to own. But obviously after the Biff, the other stuff came out, not so much anymore. But, uh, yeah, still a very cool vehicle. Now, usually in this segment of the video, you know, I'd, I'd open the doors and stuff, but this thing doesn't have any, so... <laughs> this thing, no doors or anything. Um, so we can look at some details. I believe this is the same engine model from the BF Injection. Terrible texture quality, but you know, has to be expected from OG. On the interior, oof, that is, yeah. I mean, it, it was fairly acceptable back on back in 2013. You know, Xbox 360 and PS3, but uh, nowadays, not not so much. That's um, yeah, that's kind of yikes. There, you know, <laughs> it's not not the greatest, but. You know, Rockstar is not going to go back and, and update this. I mean, there really is is no point. I mean, it's a, it's an OG vehicle, even though it would be kind of cool too. But I love I love how this kind of flaps around in the wind. So that's a nice effect there. Um, but yeah, is it worth owning? I don't know. I, I feel maybe if it actually had a lot of customization, possibly. But then you can argue that's what the Biff does for. So I mean, yeah, it's it's a it's a bit of a toss up, honestly. Um, I, I don't know. I honestly don't really think it's worth owning personally. It just lacks some personalization in terms of customization, but 
that's just me. But uh, as usual, you know, I, I am trying to make a customization slash review video on every car in the game. We're getting very close. Again, the list will be down below in the comments. And of course, since we are getting close to the end, you know, we are getting to a lot of the um, less customizable cars to say the least. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, but I, I do kind of want to, you know, finish off the uh, series and do every single car in the game. But um, and again, that list will be down below in the comments. But of course, let me know which one you want to see me customize down below from that list. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.